Good afternoon, you're watching Lunchtime News on TV1. Well, before we head into our stories, first we'll take a look at headlines. Day 2 of the Sirasa Union Assurance Vesak Zone. Fire erupts at the premises of the Bandaravela Magistrates Court. Crocodile that wreaked havoc in Nittambur caught. Into one of your leading stories now, a fire erupted at the archives of the premises of the Bandarwala Magistrate Court. The fire had erupted around 9 a.m. Police had arrived at the scene following a complaint by a resident. Police Media Division said the fire had been completely doused with the assistance of the Bandarwala Fire Brigade. Police said the cause of fire is yet to be established, adding that the government analysts will visit the location. The police added that they have launched an investigation into the incident. President Maithi Palasi Rasena has issued instruction to carry out the final rites of late Dr. Lester James Peeves under the state patronage. One of the most senior icons of the film industry globally, Dr. Sir Lester James Peeves, passed away last night at the age of 99 while receiving treatment at a private hospital in Colombo. Pioneer of the national film industry, Dr. Lester James Pierce, who was born in Dehivala on the 5th of April 1918, was a world-renowned film director, producer and screenwriter. Dr. Lester James Pierce received critical acclaim globally for directing Rekava, Gamperalia, Nidhania, Golu Hadavata, Kaliugaya, Avaragira and Ugantaya. His movie, Vakanda Valawa, starring Ravindra Randenia and Malini Fonseca, was Sri Lanka's first ever submission for the Academy Awards. In 1956, Dr. Piris made his entry into national cinema with the globally acclaimed movie Ray Carver that revolutionized Silani cinema, giving it a unique identity. Ray Carver was nominated for the Palme d'Or at the 1957 Cannes Film Festival. Dr. Lester James Pierce received the Sri Lanka Bimane title, the highest civil honour of Sri Lanka, in 2007. He met his wife Sumitra, who is also a film director, in Paris and got married in 1964. Dr. Lester James Pierce, the Sri Lankan doyen of the global cinema world, may you rest in peace. The mortal remains of Lanka Bimanya, Dr. Lester James Piris, have been laid at his residence in Lester James Piris Mavata, Timirigasyaya, Colombo 5, for the public to pay their last respects. Prime Minister Rani Vikramasinghe paid his last respects to the mortal remains of Dr. Lester James Piris this morning. Today is the second day of the Series of Union Assurance Wesak Zone at the MTV MBC head office in Breakbrook Street, Colombo 2. Chakvarankit Rat Supado Devotees will be able to worship the Sarvakji relics, including relics of Lord Buddha's two disciples, Saryut and Mughalan, from 1 p.m. onwards. Sacred relics from Mihintale Rajamahavihare, Paramananda Rajamahavihare in Gaul, Tissamaharama Rajamahavihare, Maradan Agrashravaka Vihare have been placed at the Vesak zone. Meanwhile, a blood donation campaign will also be conducted at the Vesak Zone. Now we'll cross over to the Sirisa Union Assurance Vesak Zone, where Chaturanga Hapuarachi is standing by with an update.
Good afternoon to you, Sarala. Good afternoon to our viewers joining us from home. I am standing by at the Sirasa Namami Sirasa Union Assurance Vesak Zone. As you've mentioned, Sarala, today is day two of the Sirasa Namami Vesak Zone. And even as we speak, there are devotees lining up to pay their homage to the sacred relics that have been exposed at this Vesak Zone this time around. There are a lot of people coming in and we have brought down sacred relics from the Sandagiri Mahasaya and various other sacred relics including the sacred relics of Sariputta and Mughalana to this Sirasa Namami, Sirasa Union Assurance Vesak Zone. Now, during the evening there are a number of events lined up here as well. There is a pandal that has been set up outside uh, adjacent to the MTV MBC Network's head office here in Union Place. Uh, a special dancer that is happening on the sides on the sidelines of this Sirsa Namami Vesak zone and a number of other events that have been set up. So if you are watching us from home, the Sirasa Namami Vesak zone will be in place today and tomorrow as well. You can also come and be a part of the Sirasa Namami Vesak zone. Pay your respects to the sacred relics that have been exposed here and to be a part of this great event that is to come here and to witness all of these sacred relics that have been placed and to pay your respects to these sacred relics. Thank you, Sarala, for the opportunity. We'll keep you updated throughout the day as to what is happening at the Sirasa Union Assurance Vesak Zone. I am Chaturanga Hapuarachi for News First. Thank you, Chaturanga, for that comprehensive report. With that, we move on to more local news now. Several programs were organized across Colombo to commemorate the birth, enlightenment and Padibana of the Buddha. The Hunupitiya Ganga Rame Vesak Zone was declared open yesterday by Prime Minister Anil Vikramasinghe. The Vesak Zone comprises of pandals, Vesak lanterns and performances of Batigi. <laughs> The Navaloka Pandol named the Daham Purane was declared open yesterday. This Pandol has been created using digital technology. Many other Pandols were also constructed around Colombo in commemoration of Vesak Poya. A family in Nuware Elia is currently facing serious difficulties due to the hereditary disease that causes blindness. They have been in this state for several years. The claim their vision was not impaired 10 years ago. Currently, only one family member has partially eyesight. He is to claim his eyesight is growing weaker by the day. Medical records prove this condition is hereditary disease. The area residents of Huragola Suryanapura caught the crocodile that was caught in trouble in the area. The area residents were in fear as a crocodile was reportedly seen in the vicinity. The residents claimed that the crocodile hunted small animals in the area and was a near a pond. After informing the wildlife officials about the problem, the area residents launched an operation to capture the reptile since the wildlife officials have launched a work to rule strike action. The reptile was captured using a trap that was put in place by the residents. The crocodile was about nine and a half feet according to villagers. The reptile had been handed over to the wildlife officials around nine last evening. A mobile shop in Mirigama had been dropped according to preliminary reports. 567,000 rupees and 14 mobile phones had been stolen. Police said the robbers had been wearing full face helmets. They had intimidated the manager of the shop and dropped the money and the mobile phones. The incident was recorded on CCTV cameras fixed at the shop. The suspects have not been identified as yet and the police have launched investigation into the incident. This is a wrap of lunchtime news for the day. More news follows on our website www.newsfirst.lk. I'm Sarah LaFonseca for the News First team. Do join us again on our afternoon 55s for the very latest.